got something that I I'm gonna break the time barrier on this track right now. Let's go. In three dimensions, there are six directions, each a polar pair of twins, equal and opposite in scalar magnitudes, size scales, and distances. Locations in the continuum are thus measured as events using these coordinates as axes to predict all possible directions for motion in a cosmos comprised of matter energy defined by mass and its rotations. In these three types of upward, down, left, or right, front, or back directions, with an additional seventh direction or one half dimension of universal entropy by which we define motion as time through which we must next seek to see. If subtracted from its relative placement in the equations measuring spaces, motions over time as inertia in the relative planar field of K, this seventh direction can be seen as possibly being one half of a fourth spatial dimension with its own properties and while entropic expansion of distances between all objects may continue on ad infinitum, negentropic cyclical patterns still form around gravity wells distortions to the microwave background radiation, that quantum foam of zero point energy. So we see beyond the fourth spatial dimension of time is hyperspaces and dimensionality. Here tachyons resonate into massive prismatic metaphors, face shifting through us as our psyches effluvial front of consciousness, faster than light speed defined as one Planck distance per one Planck time, our minds precisely processing is such so much more than only what is conveyed via this hyperspatial tachyonic glow. Perceive this as merely a halo surrounding the local cosmos beyond which is unlimited darkness. The realm inside the event horizon of the parental universe's black hole in which our continuum is merely the singularity at its core. And in this limitless abyss we perceive the existence of six other possible alternative cosmoses. Ours is cosmos of three spatial dimensions and then an extra one half dimension of time. But beyond this is in higher dimensions there may yet exist other cosmoses even alike our own of three spatial dimensions and the seventh direction of time waiting for us to find a bridge to cross from our own into them comprised of components that must thus span multiple dimensionality in their forms alike the regular polytopes in three dimensions called the platonic regular solids tetrahedron octahedron isosahedron cube and dodecahedron carrying through a stalactite Hedron, Tesseract, and Hypercross in all possible realms beyond the fourth spatial dimensional. So if these prismatic tachyonic metaform polytopes in fourth dimensional hyperspaces that are passing through our minds causing our emotions with their faces, our thoughts with their edges and ideas at their corners are the same things forming a bridge between our local cosmos and our nearest neighbors in the greater parental multiverse beyond this also then it should be possible to access these other parallel dimensional cosmoses using these shared shapes as a common linguistic denominator. In another world, you may yet be another person, a better one, or worse even, but that's hard to fathom if you can't conceive of any world other than this one.